Welcome, protege. From the tutorials you've gone through thus far, I, th I think you've realized that MATLAB is a very powerful tool. One of the main things it's used for is image processing. So in this tutorial, we'll show you some basic commands about how to import your images. That way, you can leverage built-in image processing algorithms or even algorithms of your own. And MATLAB comes with a couple of images that you can import to get started with. And these are peppers and corn. To read in an image, you use the function imread. And then you pass in the name of the image. Make sure you add a semicolon at the end to suppress the output. Otherwise, it will write out all of the pixel values in the command window. And if your image is very large, this will take a long time. And Peppers is a RGB image, and it's too large, so I can't display the values. But notice that it's a 3D matrix, which consists of red, green, and blue components. To give you some background, an image is just a 2D array of pixels, where each pixel is a certain light intensity. And these light intensity values are dependent on your bits per pixel. For example, if each pixel is 8 bits, the image light intensity will range from 0 to 255, where 0 is black and 255 is white. And to see what the image looks like, you can use I am show. And just pass in the variable which contains the 2D matrix of your image. In our case, it's I. And it displays the image. If you didn't read your image into a matrix, you can just pass in the image file name into I am show. And it will display the image that way. Like I mentioned, Peppers is a RGB image, so you can display each color component separately. And to do that, I'm going to create a new variable to hold each 2D matrix for the red, green, and blue components. We need three arguments. A colon in MATLAB tells it that you want to grab all the rows of the 2D matrix and the second col column tells it that you want to grab all the columns of that 2D matrix and the last argument is the color channel that you want to read out and one is the red 2D matrix, two is the green 2D matrix and three is the blue 2D matrix. You can also display those as well by using I am show. Just pass in the corresponding variable of the channel you want to see. This is the red channel. Next I'm going to read out the green channel by just changing the third argument to a 2. Display that one. Here's the green channel. And finally, the blue channel. You can also write the image to a new image file. So say you did some processing on this Peppers image and you want to write your process image to a new image file so you don't overwrite the new image. And to do that, we use a function called I am right. Which takes in two arguments. The first argument is the 
matrix that you want to write to the file and the second argument is the name that you want to call the image file. And by default it writes the new image file that cr you created in your current working directory. Which is displayed at the top here above the command window. And we see that we now have a PNG file called Pepper's Process and you can just simply click on it and it will display the image down here for you. MATLAB also has a .tiff file that you can use and this file contains three images, a grayscale image, an indexed image, and another RGB image. The first one we're going to read in is the indexed image and this requires two matrices one which holds the pixel data and one which holds the color map data which has the red, green, and blue con component of that corresponding pixel. So this matrix called corn will contain the pixel values and this matrix called color map will contain the red, green, and blue component of each pixel value. We want to use I am read and the image file is called corn.tiff and this one tells us that we want to read out this indexed image and notice that we now have a 2D matrix which holds all the pixel values of that image and another 2D matrix which holds the red, green, and blue component and to read out the RGB image of this .tiff file, change the second argument to a 2 and this will read out the red, green, and blue 2D matrices to make up this 3D matrix. And like the peppers image, you can display each color channel separately. Finally, you can read out the grayscale image and to do that you change the second argument of I am read to a 3. Show you what that looks like. This is the grayscale image of the corn. You're not limited to importing images that only come with MATLAB. You can import any image you'd like. So if you want to download an image from the internet, you can import that. Or if you have images of your own, you can import those and do some processing. I already imported an image of my own. And make sure it's in your current working directory. Otherwise, if you try to import it with imread, MATLAB won't be able to find it because the directory where it's located is not in the path variable of MATLAB. I'll show you how to do this in a later tutorial so it would be able to find the image in that case. So first I'm going to read in the image. forgot to put a semicolon at the end but this is a good example of how long it would take if you did forget your semicolon. And this is a very big image it's 4,000 by 6,000. Okay I finally finished make sure to put your semicolon at the end. Next I'm going to display the image and since the image was too big it downsampled the image and you can see that the resolution isn't that great and you get a bit of a blocky, blockier image. But when you do I am right, it will write all the pixel values to give you that clear crisp image. You can also use another function called dir and this is used to display information about the image. and just pass in the name of the image file you want the information on. And it returns the name of the image, where the file is located, the date, and how many bytes are contained within that image file. And that concludes this tutorial. To do a quick recap, we showed you how to import and display images using 
the I am read and I am show functions. We showed you how to, to display different color channels of an RGB image. And we showed you how to use I am write to write an image to a new image file. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.